Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Bram Stoker's Dracula. Hopefully I said that right. Bram Stoker's. What did I say? Stoker's. Bram, Bram, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I honestly don't know if I said it differently the second time. <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes. What do you know about this movie? <laughs> um, so this won our horror Patreon poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our horror Patreon poll. And I know this has Keanu Reeves, yep. Winona Ryder, and Gary Oldman. And then it's also Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, okay. It seems like a top director, a crazy cast. I have no idea what to expect though. Obviously Dracula is Dracula. massive story. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen a Dracula movie. I don't know if there's like a lot of Dracula movies, but I know of the story. So I don't know if I like read it in school maybe, or if it was like a play maybe. Yeah. I don't really know much about Dracula either. I, there was like a newer Dracula movie. I forgot who exactly was in it. it came out maybe like five, 10 years ago or something, but that's about it. So yeah, actually thinking back, I mean, I know Dracula, but I don't really know anything beyond that in terms of the origin or anything. Yeah. So um, I think this is based on the original story. story. Bram Stoker story. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly curious to see, is it like a modern Dracula movie, like in modern day, mm -hmm. or is it old timey, whatever? I don't know, but I'm excited. I'm assuming that Keanu is Dracula. But Maybe, yeah. The comments were obviously very good. This won our poll, so I think this is a popular one. So I'm I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagram, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. From Transylvania arose a Romanian knight. Transylvania. Known as Dracula. Oh, okay. That's, is that Gary Oldman and Winona Ryder already? Yeah. His bride, Elisabetta, knew that he must face an insurmountable force. I like the, like, just shadows. Right. Very stylized. Dang. Jeez. Wow. He dominated. Vengeful Turks shot an arrow into the castle. Whoa. False news of Draculia's death. No way. Believing him dead, flung herself into the river. Jeez. Okay, I guess I don't know the story of Dracula. <laughs> what a dirty move. I like his armor. Mm -hmm. It's just like veins. All is lost without him. May God unite us in heaven. Some Romeo and Juliet. Yes, they bless the mother. Oh. oh, that's a lot of blood. What an intense start. Yeah. I thought it was like a bat that would bite him. <laughs> <laughs> I've done everything that you asked, Master. Lost his greedy mind, poor chap. Take over for his foreign client, rather eccentric Count Dracula. You'll have to leave uh, Transylvania oh. immediately. Yes, of course, sir. With an accent. <laughs> what in fact happened to Mr. Renfield in Transylvania? That's a personal problem. Sure. I will give it my full attention. Damn, so he's just sending him in there and... We've waited this long. And Winona's alive? We can be married when I return. Oh, they're a couple? I love you, Mina. Ina. There's a lot of interesting direction going here. So I wonder if she's like reincarnated. Is that her? Right. Has she just been alive this whole time? I like the red tint. My friend. Welcome. I am anxiously expecting you. Your friend. D. D. He's going to go crazy when he sees <laughs> Mina. I wonder if Dracula already knows. So like, that's why- He somehow got Jonathan. Yeah, got Jonathan to come here. Just kicked him out. What a welcoming. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? 
just fly? <laughs> right, did you just pick him up? I say, is the castle far? Oh. Don't distract the driver. Firewall? I'd be going crazy if I was Jonathan right now. You've already seen so much crazy stuff. Welcome to my home. Oh. Leave some of the happiness you bring. I expected him to look exactly the same. Come me. I'm leaving immediately. Wow, look at that cape. <laughs> Already dark. And I never drink wine. Drink blood. To defend the church against all enemies of Christ. Not entirely successful. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What the? Hui! Dracul's have a right to be proud. I have offended you with my ignorance, Count. Okay. To be in the midst of the whirl and the rush of humanity. I feel like his shadow does not do what he does. You, Count, are. Uh, see? Uh, <laughs> his shadow's something else. <laughs> they say you are a man of good taste. Like taste in women? Or taste. <laughs> the taste of blood. Do you believe in destiny? Can be watered for a single purpose. True love. Where to be married as soon as I return. <laughs> Watch out for the shadow. Strangling you. Will no doubt make a devoted wife. Stay with me until a month from now. A month. a month. I will take no refusal. <laughs> You're dead. How does Winona like look so similar? Similar, but so young <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> There's more to marriage than carnal pleasure. So I see. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> Can man and woman really do that? I did. Jonathan measures up, doesn't he? You can tell Lucy. Lucy's a little too interested in Jonathan. Here I am, almost 20. Practically a hag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're a hag at 20? <laughs> this is a much nicer castle. <laughs> He's so young and fresh. While well, standing between my legs. <laughs> Please let me touch it. It's so big. <laughs> Jack! Oh! Oh, oh. Jack, oh, Jack! Jack's a little clumsy. Arthur! Oh my god. Oh hey! From Princess Bride. Yeah. Man, does she just have a ton of suitors? A free way of speaking shocks me sometimes. <laughs> I admire Lucy, and I'm not surprised that men flock around her. What manner of man is this? They just put it on her spell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Returns from business abroad in Transylvania. He's now obsessed with some bloodlust. What the hell? It's the asylum? Yeah. Canapé. No, thank you, Mr. Redfield. You see, it's life that I ingest. Gives back life to me. Oh. I shall have to invent a new classification of a lunatic for you. <laughs> My salvation depends upon it. Your salvation? Yes. To get him a cat? The master will come promise to make me immortal. <laughs> Is the doctor going to be a vampire now? Well, I don't think he made him one yet. Uh, I think you're right. Why is he eating flies then? He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no oh. reflection. That's creepy. Uh oh, get that blood away. Oh, he smells you already. Take care how you cut yourself. <laughs> Ew. Uh, the letters I request. 
Did he just want her address? Should you leave this room? Be warned. I'm sure I understand. Oh. Should be many strange things. Many strange things yeah. already. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Gary Oldman is terrifying. Keanu, you should have left such a long time ago. Whoa. He crawling? <laughs> Why are you leaving your room? And didn't he say not to wander? What the hell's going on? Those rats upside down? Whoa. Jonathan. Sounds like Mina, right? Yeah. Oh, it's just a big bed? Who's this? What kind of bed is this? <laughs> oh! What are you doing, Jonathan? What about Mina? No. Did she just bite his dick? Yeah, that's what. Pull my dick! What? She ill puts you best. You coming in? <laughs> what just happened? Did they just eat that baby? <laughs> I, I think they ate the baby. Dearest Mina, all is well here. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Ever faithful, Jonathan. Killing boxes with decrepit earth from the bowels of the castle. Whoa. I love him. Did she pick one? Lord Arthur Homewood. Lord and Lady Homewood. So cold. It's so unnatural. It's not like him at all. Well, he was just in a crazy orgy. <laughs> they both just see him in the clouds? He saw something. He picked up 50 boxes of experimental earth bound for London, England. Out of nowhere. What? Oh, can he not set foot on anywhere else other than the earth of, like, his castle? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> so chaotic. What? Something is aboard the ship with us. Oh. Is the it a whole... werewolf? Yeah, did the whole crew just get slaughtered by a werewolf? And why do these guys have boxes on their heads? <laughs> So the guy studying him is now crazy too? I think so. Oh, there's the werewolf. In London? <laughs> Lucy, go inside. Lucy! I feel like Lucy's about to get shredded. Okay, never mind. She's not getting shredded, she's getting pounded. Did that flash Gary Oldman's face? It flashed something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you're dreaming. You're walking in your sleep again. Oh, so she doesn't actually remember that. I don't think either of them know what's going on. Red eyes. Oh, no, they remember some stuff. I have the taste of his blood on my mouth. No, I think she knows, but I don't think... <sighs> what the... I don't think Mina does? <laughs> I am here! I have worshipped you! So the like, boxes are at the asylum? Yeah, right next door or something. Can move about by day, and his powers are weak. Oh, he's fresh! Fresh. So Dracula's not affected by the sun? He's just walking around. Yeah, they just said that he doesn't have really powers during the day. Oh, okay. Thank God, the old creepy Gary Oldman was freaking me out. <laughs> oh. See me now. So it was him. He said, don't see me. And now he's saying, see oh, me. Oh, yeah. So he was a werewolf that fucked Lucy? Maybe he wasn't a werewolf. Oh. It's a beautiful lady. From you may purchase a street atlas for sixpence. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> She's taken. 
If you seek culture, then visit a museum. Damn. Oh. Shall I call the police? I shall bother you no more. It is I who have been rude. I am Prince Vlad. This way. Okay. Mr. Holman asked me to stop by to see Miss Lucy. Do you like it? Is this her wedding dress? Once before I married. <laughs> Lucy. Damn, Lucy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. I'm changing. I can hear everything. Oh. Miss Lucy is harder than a June bride riding bareback buck naked in the middle of the sand. I would... <laughs> <laughs> There's the Texan. <laughs> Last week he wanted to marry her. Huh? Now he wants to have her committed. Let's go and have a look at her, shall we? She doesn't look so well. Maybe pick a different bride? I'm at a loss. I... <laughs> Just dispose of her. Abraham von Helsing, the metaphysician philosopher. Van Helsing? Bring him here. Spare no expense. Ooh. Whoa. Do not fear me. Whoa. She should probably be afraid if this is how you're treating her. Cross oceans of time to find. Oh. Oh, he didn't do it. Just a wolf on the loose. Strigoi. Oloi. I'm here. Mina. That's impressive. He likes you. Definitely made an impression. <laughs> yeah, the wolf thing was pretty cool. <laughs> Pampas vampire bat must consume ten times its own weight in fresh blood. Oh, Anthony Hopkins is back. <laughs> the diseases of the blood, such as syphilis. What are you doing? Civilization and syphilization have advanced together. It's from the Telegraph, Professor. So he's Van Helsing? Hmm. <laughs> That was cool. Although, talking about diseases, get bit by a bat and then suck the blood. Dracula has left me with these women. They drain my blood to keep me weak. Oh, so he's just been with those women nonstop for weeks? Became personally involved in these strange events. Reminds me of like The Exorcist. Like standing outside with like the glowing. So she needs to feed? Or else her blood's going to die or whatever. That's not good. She manifests continued blood loss. Blood loss how? I... Oh! It's a little messy. My god. Must be a transfusion at once. Take off your coat. Oh. Change her blood? Yeah. Well, what the hell is he doing to Luce? He's trying to save her life. This young lady is very ill. She's dying. She wants blood and blood she must have. His blood? This may hurt a little heart. Ow! <laughs> my life is hers. I would give my last drop of blood to save her. The last drop? <laughs> Jeez, did they save her? Her whole body couldn't hold that much blood. Or did they just satisfy her blood craving? Use your brain. Where did the blood go? Tell me. Sucked it out of her and flew away i suppose <laughs> yeah exactly yeah why not do you not think there are things in this universe which you cannot understand materialization astral bodies whoa where'd you go van where the hell did he go <laughs> those marks near dear miss lucy's neck were made by something unspeakable out there it feeds on lucy's precious blood oh, oh what a cut was he just listening to them i think so so he's just using Lucy as a way to suck blood while he's here in London. Absinthe. Absinthe? Is the aphrodisiac of sin. Tell me of your home. I like the shadows again, like from the battle. Flowers of such frailty and beauty. Describe my home as if you had seen it firsthand. It's so familiar. So is she reincarnated then? I think so. I don't know if she just looked similar and that was enough. Yeah, I think it's her. And what of the princess? The 
There is always a princess. You're the princess. Face. Is that her falling? Oh, jeez. She's forever filled with tears of sadness. Whoa. Did you just make diamonds out of her tears? She does not care about Jonathan. No, nah, Jonathan's dead. All. This dude makes diamonds and hangs out with wolves. Speaking of. He escaped those women. I never know what way we're facing. I know. I was like, is he going up or down or no, he fell into the same river. Yeah, she's having a great time and Jonathan's over here in hell. That's lucky, maybe. Your fiance is safe. Oh. You join him here so that you may immediately be married. Jonathan wants her to come to Transylvania? La <laughs> da 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 your friend. Huh. You look positively radiant. You heard from Jonathan, didn't you? Yes. I don't know if that's why she's radiant. <laughs> He's suffering from a violent brain fever. Brain fever? Don't worry about spoiled little Lucy. You're right. Ooh, you're not looking good, Lucy. Yeah. I feel really bad for Lucy. I do too now. She just wanted to have some fun and now she's getting drained of her blood. He said, if you don't get better right quick, I have to put you out of your misery like a lame horse. <laughs> You're such a beast. Quincy, back up. Will you kiss me, Quincy? No. Oh, Quincy's done. Oh, look at it. Sleep. Sleep now. Sleep. Nosferatu. Oh, Nosferatu. I've heard that before. Vampire. So did she get Quincy? Or did he back up in time? No, I think they got him. I skinned them alive and hacked them to pieces and then drank their blood. Yeah. For blood is the life. Oh, she no show for their dinner. We are to be married. I will never see you again. He cried blood. He shipped all this dirt over here just for her to leave. I feel confused and lost. Perhaps I'm a bad, inconstant woman. Oh. <laughs> the bow I have pursued all my life. <laughs> He's excited. Do not fail here tonight. Will you become a bitch of the devil? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a sick old buzzard. <laughs> the devil's concubine. <laughs> We may still save her precious soul. Not on an empty stomach. He's just leaving for dinner? This Texan's gonna get killed by Dracula, I feel like. Is that her fiance or? Yeah, I think that's her fiance. And the Texan's outside? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy didn't last. Well. Dude, really? <laughs> Better pull out that big knife. How do you kill a vampire? It's wooden stake or I think werewolf is silver bullet. Yeah, so I wooden think. stake, I think, right? I don't know if that applies to Dracula. Oh, wow, she made it. Oh man, you're done for. Oh. Does she even want to marry you? Condemn you to living death. Eternal hunger. Oh! What? Poor Lucy. I can't believe Van Helsing was just like, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> But is she actually dead? I don't think so. Cause I thought he said that she was gonna be immortal. Yeah. 
An autopsy? That's what they cut off her head and take out her heart. <laughs> Super sensitive. I know you love her a lot. Let's cut her heart out. Still so ill. It's cheered by the familiar streets of London. Oh, they're back home. Tiny hope that lives in me that I will again see my prince. Yikes. It was always in my thoughts. Really got to her. It is a man himself. Yeah. Look, he's growing young. So he recognized him. Yeah, that's good. They here for the autopsy? Autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> Must we desecrate poor Lucy's grave? If Miss Lucy is dead, then no wrong can be done to her. If she's dead. She's undead. This is insane. I feel like they're gonna get wrecked. Yeah, she's gonna jump on someone. Oh, where is she? Where is she? She lives beyond the grace of God. She's vampire. Nos. Feratu. We fight not one beast, but legions that go on age after age after age. She's still a baby? Yeah. I mean, the other girls were drinking baby blood. Lucy! <laughs> Just dropped a kid. Come to me, Arthur. Arthur, watch out. Please. Oh. They're strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Oh, that shut her up quick. Oh. I cast you out, the Prince of These noises are horrifying. Oh, that was the scariest part of the movie so far. Ugh. Take the stake in your left hand. That's not wood. Maybe it's just a stake through the heart. Come on. <laughs> How did Lucy die? Well, we uh, <laughs> put a stake in her heart and cut her head off. <laughs> what Was the she fuck? in great pain? In great pain. Then we cut off her head and drove a stake to her heart. <laughs> and then, then she found peace. Doctor! <laughs> I like how just straight to the point the doctor is. <laughs> During your infidelity with those creatures, those demonic women, taste of their blood. No. Uh, but they tasted his blood. Or did he? I feel like he's lying. Does she know about the orgy? Well, she does now. <laughs> Vampires do exist. He can appear as mist, as vapor, as fog, and vanish at will. As rest in the sacred earth of his homeland to gain his evil power. Damn. I almost feel pity for anything so hunted as this count. They might have to kill Mina, too. I mean, Mina doesn't know they're the same person. He must be beheaded. I suggest you use your big bowie knife. <laughs> Buster! That guy's not done much for Dracula. <laughs> I've been promised eternal life! I must see him. She knows that he was the guy before? Yeah. I know you. You're the bride my master covered. I am Mrs. Harker. He is coming for you. Don't stay here. He's trying to protect her? Well, because they might use Mina now as bait to kill Dracula. You promised me eternal life, but you give it to the pretty woman. No, oh, he's just pissed. Some water and toiletries at your disposal. Dirt boxes. Yeah, he's got to be in one of them. Set them all on fire. Why would you bring dogs if you can control all the animals? Not very smart. <laughs> oh! Destroy every box. Let the exorcism begin. Shit, he's just above them? Yeah. Oh, he can appear as mist, can't he? You have betrayed me. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 What? Where'd the snake come from? The soil? The dirt? <laughs> oh, maybe. You found me. I feel 
scared I would never feel your touch again. There is no life in this body. What are you? I am Dracula. You murdered Lucy! I mean, technically he didn't kill Lucy. Van Helsing did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What does he do now? He has no dirt left. I want to be what you are. Weren't you just pissed? I don't know. She jumps around a lot. I give you life eternal. Oh, oh. Goodbye, Mina. So she has to drink his blood. Uh, drink. No. Oh, I cannot let this be. What? She already drank. He tried to uh, back out a little too late. <laughs> Mina! <laughs> He's just there alone. Oh, not alone. Oh, no. Look what your god has done. No! Light! Whoa. Get them! And when did Keanu get white hair? He's It's been like transitioning. Has it? Yeah. So that motherfucker got some blood then. That's why I said he was lying. He yeah, is lying son of a bitch. He has a strong mind connection to you. Your salvation is his destruction. I want to hypnotize you. What you hear, child? He is traveling across icy seas to his beloved home. He's going back home. He commands the winds. But we still have the advantage. But we will meet his ship and burn it into the sea. Oh wow, they got there first. Four days, I think, before. Will he know if she knows? Yeah, right? That's two-way street. What have I done to you? No, I have done this to both of us. That's a nice wooden stake. Count's ship sailed past us in the night fog. Oh no. The black devil is reading Mina's mind. Yeah, you're right. I think that with the horses we can cut him off, reach him before he reaches the castle. Mina's not just in that room. Right, right? listening. From Varna, Mina and Van Helsing took a oh. carriage. She is now our decoy. Sorry, Mina. You chose this life. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's gonna <laughs> hurt her anyways. Dracula. No, he's not. Dr Dracula's not gonna hurt her. Dracula has outsmarted us again. Damn, they're all just racing back to the castle. Yeah, if he makes it back there, there's no way they could beat him. Mina! You've been so good to me, Professor. Fuck, is Van Helsing done? Snap out of it, Doctor! No! Drive a stick through my heart as you did poor Lucy. I'm sworn to protect you! Oh. What the hell was that? I've lost Lucy. I'll not lose you to him. Please, this gun! I command yeah. you in the name of Christ! Oh, what? Damn. They just slaughtered their horses? Yeah. Now he's trapped in that fire circle. With Mina, who wants to kill him. Oh, I guess he's not trapped anymore. Did he kill him? Oh! Now he did. No way! He just went and butchered those three! <laughs> Jackal! Damn, Van Helsing! <laughs> That's what they get for killing his horses. And sudden she's close. They're racing against the sunset. Maybe too late. Oh! Right on their tail. Crazy editing. Mina. Mina, don't do something stupid. There you go, Texan. Uh oh. Mina, what the hell? Van Helsing, shut her up. Standing there. Yeah, just hit her or something. I don't know. Shut her up. Oof. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No! 
Not the Texan. Wouldn't she get a gun? Fuck. Yes. Our work is finished here. Hers has just begun. What? At least the Texan got that stake in his heart. Damn. We've all become God's madmen. God. Oh, it wasn't the stake, it was his knife. It is finished. Ugh. <laughs> Now my love could release us all from the powers of darkness. Oh. Our love is stronger than death. True love's kiss? <laughs> Damn. Is she not a vampire now? No, I think she is. Like, she healed. I don't know. Oh. What the? All right, that was Bram Stoker's Dracula. What'd you think? That was very interesting. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that I liked it. <laughs> I, think that, <laughs> I think that I liked it a lot more as it went on. Yes, I was um, very confused in the beginning. In the beginning, it was like, what the, f what are we watching? Yeah. It felt a lot like a uh, play. Yes. I can't really describe it any better than that, that it just felt like a play, but on screen. Yeah, I mean, I loved, like, stylistically the film. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Everything felt like a set. Exactly. The transition they use are almost like, you know, when the curtain would come down and they would move on to the next, like, the curtain was like those crazy transitions. Yeah, I definitely agree. Extremely stylized. Uh, so I definitely enjoyed that aspect of it. I mean, there was just crazy stuff everywhere. The guys with boxes on their heads, the dude eating bugs with like metal finger traps and stuff. Keanu's hair color changed multiple times yeah. maybe, but that didn't have anything to do with it. Also, there was a ton that I just don't know. I always assumed Dracula to be Dracula, like how he kind of was towards the end when he was very much like a giant vampire looking thing. Yeah, like a, almost like a gargoyle. Yeah, like a gargoyle. Yeah. Whereas earlier, I thought that was a werewolf, but I think that was also Dracula. I think it was as well. I don't think there were any werewolves in this. Yeah, unless can Dracula be a werewolf also, or can he just look however he wants to look? I don't know. So there was a lot of in this that I just wasn't anticipating. Clearly, we don't know the story of Dracula. Oh. I kind of thought that I knew at least some of it going into this and, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was definitely something with like Vlad the Impaler or something like that, who I guess would maybe be the earlier Dracula or stuff, like when he was out there in battle and he like impaled all those guys on spikes. Right. I don't know how he went from that to Dracula. I thought it was something that he did to gain the strength to fight in a war or something. That's, yeah. That was my original idea which uh, that could have come from who knows where. Uh, but this, the whole aspect of love, it was very much a love story and true yes. love's kiss and the reuniting of soulmates and stuff. So that was completely out of nowhere for what I was expecting. Right, I mean, the second that he kind of put the knife or the sword through the cross, the cross yeah. and it's just like blood. That wasn't like the origin story that I was anticipating. No, like just being out of pure frustration of him being a fighter for Christ and then feeling abandoned or betrayed by God. Yes. Um, so then he was essentially cursed with like eternal life and like damnation and stuff. Yeah. Definitely, we know nothing about Dracula, so. <laughs> well, now we do. Now we know a lot more about Bram Stoker's Dracula. But yeah, going back to how just stylized the movie was, when it really started for me was like the whole shadow play. Yeah. It just kind of, originally looked like it was wrong. It was oh, like a little off. Yeah, it was like, oh, the shadow's not really working exactly how it's supposed to, but uh, it was intentional to the point where the shadow's just doing its own thing and knocking things over, or strangling 
Jonathan or Keanu Reeves. I really enjoyed just how wild this movie was. Yes, I have to say Gary Oldman was incredible. Yeah, he, he stole like every scene that he was in. He always does very good at just being crazy. I mean, we've seen him in Leon the Professional, one of our favorite movies that we've seen many times. That's why it's not on the channel. Fifth Element. Yeah. Great in that. Um, so he was excellent as Dracula, as an old creepy Dracula that was just like gross to the younger, more charismatic Dracula. Yeah. I mean, one of the more terrifying shots of this was, I think Van Helsing was talking about Dracula or something and it cut to him. And it was just like him with just his like neck up and blood like everywhere. It reminded me of like the evil dead. This also reminded me a lot of like the uh, exorcist. Anthony Hopkins just constantly trying to perform exorcisms everywhere pretty much. I can see that. I feel like the exorcist is so dark, like coloring uh -huh. of the film and some of the colors that were used and stuff. It's been- Too long. Yeah, a very long time, at least over a decade since I've seen the exorcist. Yeah, I never want to see that again. <laughs> But from what I can remember, I agree. It does remind me of The Exorcist. It was really cool to see Anthony Hopkins. I didn't know he was gonna be in this, but I think the last time we saw him on the channel was Hannibal Lecter. Yes, and we have to continue that universe yeah. for sure. So Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, I think was the last we saw. Yeah, he's always incredible. It was just very interesting to see kind of his tactics. I really enjoyed how blunt he was with everything. Yeah. How Lucy. did she die? How did Lucy <laughs> die? Well, we uh, chopped off her head and drove a stake through her heart and then burned her alive or burned the rest of it. Like, so, uh, how's it going? As they're cutting up <laughs> steak to eat. Lucy also, uh, Sadie Frost? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I thought she was great. She was great. I mean, she was like the fun friend who just wanted to have a good time to the point where I was like, oh damn, you feel really bad for her. I felt terrible for her. I was like, she's being used as like a blood bag. Yeah. While she finally decided like the love of her life, who she was gonna marry. And then she just got immediately sick. And I think she picked right. She picked uh, Carrie Ellis yep. from The Princess Bride. Love Carrie. Uh, he was great in it. I, yeah. That might've been my favorite part. I think that's when I started enjoying the movie a lot more is when it really picked up on like the team effort of those three guys, yeah. plus Keanu and Anthony Hopkins, all kind of hunting down and killing Dracula. It became a lot more exciting and fun for me at that point, whereas in the first half, it was just wild. I still enjoy the first half, especially a lot of like the filmmaking aspect of it. We already talked about how stylized it was, but even the coloring. Yeah. Like when uh, Keanu was on his way to the Transylvania or whatever, and everything was red and you see his eyes like in the clouds, that was sick. Yeah, there was a lot of like, I don't know what the film term for it would be, but it was like overlay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know where, what you're saying. Yeah, so you're seeing like what's going and going on, but then there's like other scenes or other people. I think the first time that we saw it was when Dracula is with Jonathan and he's explaining what happened to his love, who Winona Ryder earlier, I think it was Elizabeth. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. They're looking at something, I think it was maybe her photo of Mina. And right. you see actually her falling to her death. It's very subtle, but you mm -hmm. can kind of see it in there. You see that again when it's yep. at dinner. They did a great job of just like having that kind of subtly be there and it made for really cool shots. Yeah, uh, definitely the multiple scenes happening at the same time. It never was really like, I guess, jarring because the whole movie from the very beginning, you're yeah. like, okay, I know what to expect from here on yes. out. Yes, yeah. Uh, I mean, even we really like the shadow of the war in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that happened multiple times when they're at dinner and there's a bunch of other guests to see shadows moving around, obviously with Dracula's shadow moving around, or even when Anthony Hopkins was defending himself from those, uh, three vampire women and it's kind of like the shadow of them butchering his horses and stuff i mean i'm sure we could talk on and on and on about how many different scenes were just like okay that was crazy it definitely yeah. seemed like everyone was like how can we film this but also make it as wild as possible and then let's do that yeah in terms of the story though i was a little lost in the beginning but it really picked up and obviously maybe if we knew a little bit more about dracula we wouldn't have been so confused in some of those moments like where we were like is that a werewolf that type of stuff because it wasn't totally apparent initially that it was dracula that was 
kind of luring Lucy in. Yeah, because I thought at that point he was still on the boat too. He obviously has abilities that we weren't totally aware of. Yeah, the powers were crazy. I mean, I definitely expected Dracula to be very powerful, but it also got to the point where it's like, I'm still a little unsure. Is Mina Mina and Dracula is just able to manipulate her mind enough so that she thinks that she's Elizabeth, Or was it really Elizabeth that was reincarnated later in life? Or to begin with, was Dracula always aware that Jonathan was with Mina and that's why he kind of got John or was that just a total coincidence that he saw the picture and was like oh damn I think that she is reincarnated and I think that it was a coincidence okay uh that Jonathan was brought in because they also didn't and maybe they did but didn't fully explain why he was buying all of those 10 different properties specifically in London. Like, why was he trying to get to London anyway? So he, that's why I feel like he must have already known. Maybe he did. I mean, he just seemed kind of surprised to me when he saw her photo. It, it did, yeah. So I'm like, maybe he already <laughs> knew that she was there and then didn't realize that she was Jonathan's fiance. I don't know, explain to us. <laughs> Somebody explain to us what part of this was like a calculated move versus, oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, shoot. That's super unlucky that Jonathan would just be like, hey, look at my wife. And it's like, oh, shit. I like that. <laughs> um, the more that we're talking about this, the more that I realize that I really, really did like this film. Confused a little in the beginning. And then at the end, it was just like, whoa, did that really just happen? Like Dracula's like done for now at the end of this? I honestly I didn't even register right away that the Texan mortally wounded Dracula pretty much. No, I thought he just kind of stabbed, stabbed him. him and then, you know, he was going to heal and do whatever Dracula did. Until you said, oh, that was his own blade. I didn't realize that. Yeah. At first I thought it was his blade. So I thought he just stabbed him and then got knocked off. And then I thought it was uh, the wooden stake when it really looked like Dracula was fucked up. I was like, oh shit, the Texan did it. Yeah. But then it ended up being his blade anyway. So I guess that counts as a stake or something, or maybe Mina just had to really finish it and then cut the head off. And then True Love's Kiss also freed him of his curse. Yeah. And I then think... is Mina freed of the curse? No, I feel like Mina is the new Dracula. You think? that The way that it ended, all of them just like standing outside and then for Keanu just be like, oh, her time is just beginning. Or exactly. Something. That's why I'm like, oh, she's the new... Dracula. No, Nos... Nosferatu? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how you use that. I thought Nos Nosferatu was a specific person or something. Oh, I thought that was like the original vampire. Maybe. Or is that the way that you describe other... Man, we need a huge vampire lesson. Also, have you ever seen Van Helsing? No. With Hugh Jackman? No. Oh, that's such a, I love that movie. It's been like way too long since I've seen that movie. And seeing Van Helsing again in this, I was like, damn, I really want to watch Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman again. Van Helsing, the name sounded familiar, but I didn't know. I thought maybe that was like part of the Dracula world. Uh, yeah, because the Van Helsing movie, it covers, it's Hugh Jackman is Van Helsing. Okay. And it covers a lot of like Jekyll and Hyde and Frankenstein's monster and Dracula. Oh, so it's like a lot of, so he's like a monster. He's like a monster hunter. Ah. Which Van Helsing was pretty much a monster hunter in this. Right. He just, I mean, he killed Lucy. He walked in and slaughtered those uh, Dracula's brides. Anthony Hopkins was pretty badass in this. Definitely an interesting ending. I'm curious to see what people think of the ending or what really happened. Yeah. I mean, you think she is definitely the new Dracula. I think so too, based off of Keanu's line of like, oh, right. it's her time is just beginning. But then also the way that Dracula was like healed technically and like the cross healed and then her wound on her head healed. I feel like that wouldn't have healed if she was still a vampire. Like if she was a vampire, then that really would have stayed there. Well, I thought she was just kind of like in the middle. She wasn't like a full vampire So yet. maybe it healed because she gained all of Dracula's powers now? That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. Like Tell I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if there's a Dracula 2 where it's like her hunting down Keanu or something. No, I mean, he let her go. And I definitely saw some comments that were like, oh, Keanu has a strange performance or something like that. 
before we watched this. Mm. Yeah, his accent was definitely there. It wasn't- I don't think it was like distracting. No, it, it wasn't bad enough to like take you out of the movie or anything. No, I don't think so. But he also wasn't really in the movie that much. No, I absolutely thought he was the main character. Yeah, Like I, I thought it was gonna be him and Winona Ryder. I mean like the Texan and the doctor and Arthur were in the movie more than he was. Um, Lucy was in the movie more than him. Yeah, I mean, as soon as he was taken by Dracula's brides, like we didn't see him for a good, <laughs> a good minute. I was anticipating him being the star of this film and it was Gary Oldman. But I definitely enjoyed it. Like you said, I think talking about it more, I'm starting to enjoy it more and more. I already enjoyed the filmmaking aspect. It was just incredibly unique and stylized. Whether you like it or not, it's hard to dispute that it was just off the wall. And then talking about it more, I definitely like the story. In the beginning, it was a lot to just process, but as it went on, it became very focused and I really enjoyed it. Definitely excited that, that people had it win the poll, but that it was recommended so much. Yeah, no, definitely something that I'm really happy that we watched and I can see that this was a big deal. And I would like to watch it again, knowing that I'm not gonna be as confused in the first half. I would like to watch it like on a on a big screen with like a good sound system. Cause I feel like the sound in this, that's another thing that we didn't really touch mm -hmm. on, but it was really great. I mean, there was definitely multiple times where it was like, oh, that's gross. The scene with Lucy at the end, like the end of Lucy, noises that were coming out of her were nightmare fuel. Yeah, the sound design, that's definitely a, a huge positive of this movie. Yeah. A great time. Not at all what I expected, <laughs> but great. I did really enjoy it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.